So in um, April 2005, uh, we did a campaign called Yumi no Shikara, uh, which was the basic translation for Power of Dreams, which really just tried to explain in words what the Power of Dreams actually meant. Um, we then followed that up with uh, the Crazy Sensible Stories, which talked about how Honda act and uh, the philosophy behind demonstrating the Power of Dreams in what they do and their actions. Now with Impossible Dream we want to bring it into real life product, physical product that we uh, have had uh, in Honda's history, so milestones in Honda's history and uh, our physical product that you can buy uh, today. The Impossible Dream is probably the biggest film we've done for Honda and it's very important because it's leading up to the next Impossible Dream which is the launch of Civic. The idea really is to show the cool side of Honda. The concept for Impossible Dream there are several levels to and um, the main thrust of the idea is to make people realise how passionate and to what degrees Honda will go to to make their dreams come true. The main thinking behind the campaign is to present the idea of making impossible dreams happen, making d impossible dreams come true. Each one of these products has been chosen because of its specific relationship to a dream that Honda have had. In 1958, the Super Cub, the C100, was developed. It was uh, based on a four-stroke 50cc engine offering high fuel economy and reliability. The design of the Cub was interesting because it had the step through. Sales immediately took off and this is now the biggest ever selling bike in history. In 1954, Shishiro Honda announced his impossible dream to become number one in the world. Number one in Japan, he didn't consider big enough. To do so, he had to win the Isle of Man TT race. He first entered in 1959 and lost every single race and then in 1961 he came back and won their first race. It is a first victory for Honda ever. So this is a very important bike. We start the engine only once a year, but uh, still, uh, even once a year, we have to uh, rebuild the engine. Even though we feature a number of products within this commercial, we've tried to make sure um, that it doesn't come across as um, a standard advert. We still need to make sure we stand out. We still need to make sure people notice us and remember us. I think the song is a key part to that, but also the way that the products are filmed. Um, and the way the ad's going to come across, I ho I'm hoping that it's going to be more filmic than you would um, expect a normal advert to be. I guess, you know, if, if it was any other manufacturer, they would probably sort of linger on the car shots and, and they wouldn't have the same well I don't think they had, they'd have the guy singing for a start I mean that's that's fundamental to the idea. Obtaining the products knowing what we could get and knowing what we could get to run as well um, because a lot of the museum pieces are, I mean they're all kept in pristine condition but we weren't quite sure whether you could run them whether the engine still worked whether you know drivers could get in them so that was the thing we had to do quite a bit of research into what we could and couldn't physically, realistically, um, put into the film. We're shooting the ad in um, a variety of places. We've had to shoot the waterfall in Argentina. Um, we've shot the Formula One cars at Honda's very own race circuit in Mategi in Japan. And um, now we're shooting the, the rest of the products here in New Zealand. Basically, the reason we've come to New Zealand is because of the scenery, the backdrops. It's uh, got such a variety. It just makes the commercial um, it gives it a filmic sort of sense, uh, makes it quite dramatic. We chose Simon as the actor because, one, I think he could sing, which is important, because when we tried just miming to the words of Andy Williams, you don't kind of quite get the feeling of when somebody is fully singing. It's quite a strange place inside this helmet because I've got Andy Williams singing to me in one ear. We felt it, he had to be very natural within the role. He had to, um, you had to believe that this, this man would have this, this amazing dream that, um, and that he was approachable and warm. We've chosen someone very distinctive so that you met, remember him. So when I got called up for this audition and I thought, well, this is just madness because I look like a complete freak. There's no way I'm going to get it. 
But I walked in and uh, they said, um, oh, great moustache, great sideburns. This is just what we're looking for. The director is Ivan Zacharias. Um, he's done a Honda commercial once before, the Civic Everyday Spot with all the close-ups. And it's sort of his vision to have a lot of these moments, these kind of natural moments the, with the animals and some of the sunsets. And um, that, was, that was some of the stuff that he brought to it. We've come on this shoot and we've brought uh, a number of products with us. Um, bikes and uh, ATVs and we're shooting a boat and we're shooting Formula One cars. We get to the shoot and uh, one of the first things that we see on strapped to the front of the camera car is a, a generator, a Honda generator. And it sort of just goes to show that Honda is a big company. We are providing products and services that go beyond just what people see us as every day. We, we're not just a car brand, we're not just a bike brand, we're bigger than that and um, we're big for the engineering and the reliability of those engines. The benefit to the dealers is that the great public out there are going to have a much, much better and deeper understanding of the Honda brand. And we're also hoping that this commercial will make people who sell Honda products excited about selling Hondas. The website is a key component of this campaign. That's where people are going to go and find out about each individual product, each impossible dream, uh, and learn about Honda. And we've always said if we could get them to spend 15 minutes with us, you know, sharing our passion for Honda, that we could convert them and turn them into real fans who love the brand. Equally, the print material we've been making which takes the form of a printed booklet, the two million of which are going to be released in national press and the motoring press again are all designed to drive you to the website so you have to understand the website is absolutely key to the success of this campaign the epic two minute spot impossible dream launches on the 2nd of december we run that for a couple of weeks and then we also will be running 10 second cut downs of the film now these 10 second cut downs are very very important not only do they act as a reminder of the main commercial they also act as a driver to the website. It's almost our impossible dream to a vast Honda to come up with all these products and make them uh, be available. And uh, I can't thank them enough for that, and I hope it repays in the uh, results. So here it comes, the new ad from Honda, the impossible dream. I hope you enjoy it. 